phone in my house and I'm laughing like crazy. It is Thursday, February 21st, and I'm laughing hysterically. I'm all alone in the house, and I'm laughing because... Oh, I gotta show you. I'm eating this. Doesn't it look like a, a dog has left a present on my doorstep? Well, it's totally natural. It's dates with pistachios, but I guess I'm in a giggly mood today. I got up this morning and I had a lot of things on my agenda and I've accomplished most of it. I wanted to go outside and shovel um, and I, f I filmed my face as well this morning just when I got up and it wasn't a pretty sight so I'm not sure if I'm going, <laughs> I'll probably cut that part off but um, I wanted to show you what Montreal's weather was in the winter time. And my husband travels a lot, so he, most of the time when it snows, he's not here, so I got a shovel. We do have a snow removal surface for the driveway. Actually, pretty much everybody on our street has that because, I mean, it, it snows so much. But they don't do our balcony, like our front porch and the stairs and the, and the pathway leading to the driveway and it's it's a fairly large area it's not huge but it's it's fairly big so this morning I got out and I started shoveling and I, in some areas I mean it was fluffy snow so it's not so bad it wasn't like wet wet snow it was windy and then the snow kind of got packed up in some areas so in some areas I had like two feet of snow to shovel so uh, I'm going to show you that now it is freaking cold the wind is a blowing and you see all that mound of snow right there? This I picked up from, here, let me show you from outside. <sighs> I'm out of breath and I did my exercise for the day, which was okay. <sighs> so this is our balcony with the steps and the walkway to uh, the driveway. So I shoveled that and in some corners, like over there, I had like almost two feet of snow. And while I was shoveling, look what I found! Flyers! <laughs> they were buried under the snow. But um, I just want to show you something. I found this packet of... Nah, I'm cooking. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Um, I found it. <laughs> this is um, this new bowl, popping bowl, I guess. Uh, what do they call it? Oh, it's all in French. Um, yeah. So you pop it and then basically it, the thing turns into a bowl. Much more convenient than the long bags that they used to come in. But, I don't know, this thing is frozen. It's been sitting there probably overnight because it was totally buried under the snow. So I don't know if I should pop it or not. What do you guys think? I don't know. And before I pop in the shower, I, um, I'm going to just marinate my chicken. I just bought some chicken uh, breasts and I just have Ooh. olive oil the juice of half of a lemon some Greek spices and then a whole bunch of garlic because we love garlic and Steph is coming over and she'll be here later on to paint and I've gone back to drinking a lot of water this is um, a mug that Steph got me uh, from Starbucks I love it and what I do is just I just put a couple of slices of lemon in there and it flavors the water nicely. Sometimes I even add uh, cucumbers with the lemon, some mint leaves and ginger. It's really, really yummy. Um, I'm a big water drinker, but for some reason lately I've been slacking off. I wish we had smell a vision because this smells divine. I have emulsified the oil with the, um, the lemon juice and it turned into this beautifully rich marinade. Hopefully this will be good. Ta-da! Success! So when I marinate my meat, I always put it in a freezer bag. I know it's not very eco-friendly, but to me this is the best way. What I do is I put the meat and then I put the marinade and I let the air out so that all of the meat um, is surrounded by the juice. If you leave air, sometimes you get like a pock and then all the juice moves to one area. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. We're going to have some tzatziki sauce with that. And I don't know if I'm going to make roasted potatoes. I'll see if I have time. Otherwise, it's just going to be salad. Now I've had time to jump in the shower. I'm eating my my dates. 
<laughs> I was gonna call it something else. And I'm getting ready to film, but I also wanted to show you. Uh, yesterday I went by the store because I needed to film something and I spent money. Well, not exactly. I had a store credit. So I used it up. I'm slowly uh, building my collection of the Archival Inks by Ranger, which I absolutely love. They're acid, well, of course, they're acid free, but they're permanent and waterproof, which is something that I needed. I don't really have that in my stash. I do have all the Stampin' Up! inks and I have all the Distress inks. I do have Stays On. I have some color box. Like I have a good variety of inks, but the totally waterproof inks that actually go on paper, because Stays On is mostly for non-pore surfaces. If you stamp with Stays On on a different surface, I mean it does stamp, but it's, I don't know, the colors are not as vibrant. I find that they're best used in on glossy paper, blah, blah, on glossy paper. Anyways, I do like the archival inks. I have about mm, eight, nine. I have nine of them. And yesterday I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I bought ten of them. I know I'm missing a few. Anyways, so I'm going to um, swatch them. I've already started swatching them on labels. And what I do, I punch them out. And, and then I put the color right here in the space and I also inventory them in my uh, supplies book. And I'll show you the ones that I have already so far. I have a section just for Ranger and if you're interested in uh, watching the video where I show this, it's up on my blog. It's called the Supplies Inventory Binder. And not on my blog, on my channel. It's a video. Okay. So this is what I do to inventory them. Sorry, the lighting is not the best, but these are the colors that I had so far. I left some space here because I knew I was going to buy like more yellows and more oranges and whatnot. I just stamp with a stamp and I write the uh, color next to it. And that gives me a true representation of what the color looked like. Uh, because when I swatched them on... on um, here, I'll show you one that I've already done. Is this the olive one? Yeah. When I swatch them on a label, they get darker. So this is, that's the olive one, and that is the olive one. So there's quite a bit of a difference in intensity. It's just to give me an idea when they're up in my rack so that I, I grab the right one. Because right now they're just stacked on top of the, each other. I might have, uh, I think I'm going to reorganize my stamp pads again. I'm forever in reorganizing mode. I like them. I use them a lot now since I'm doing a lot more art journaling because they're waterproof. So sometimes it's good to have an ink that reacts to water like the Distress inks, but then you have these that you can layer on top. And if, if you want to layer more things on top of these inks and you want that particular area to stay as is, even if you spray, they're going to stay as is. So it's good to have both of them. What else have I been buying? I bought also the Winx, the Wink of Stella brushes by Zig. Now, these puppies. Ho, 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 ho. I have started with four colors and I went and got, I actually have two clears and a black in a silver and I haven't swatched these yet, but I'm gonna show you the ones that I've already swatched. Basically what they are, they are glitter brushes. Uh, yeah, they're glitter paint brushes. It's tough to explain. I'll show you what they look like. Here. It's got a brush tip, but the liquid that comes out of there... Well, let me tell you about the liquid that comes out of there. Oh, you won't be able to see it. All right. I'm going to put this underneath on that. Do you, wow. Do you see that glitter in it right now that I'm showing you? Look at that. This is what the uh, the Wink of Stella brushes are. Unbelievable. So I'm going to get to play with those soon and I'll probably demo them for you. So i got to swatch these. I have to get going on my video. Sorry about the lighting. Oh, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you is in my previous vlog, the video that I've uploaded went wonky for a while. Apparently now it's back to normal. Uh, it was just a matter of 
um, we couldn't view it properly. We couldn't view it until the end, and I think it was just because YouTube was uh, going through some glitches at the time. So you can look at that one. Um, I did show quite a few projects that I had made. Oh, and I've been playing too. Hold on a minute. Sorry about the noise. This is so funny. Sometimes I just get crazy at night while I'm waiting for videos to upload. And when I don't know what to do, I sort of experiment with <laughs> what I have. And um, <laughs> I did this. Um, again, I should really take the camera off. Or not. I'll go get the product first. I'm back. I was experimenting with the Pearl Pens by Viva Decor and this is <laughs> what I did. These are the ones. Whoops. Um, the Pearl Pens. So I wanted to see if it would really, because apparently they're supposed to retain their shapes when they're dry and they totally do. I mean, look at that. The page is ugly. I mean, I, this is like by any stretch of the imagination, would you call this art at all? But this was just a tester, but I filled this whole area and this is pretty thick, right? And look how gorgeous and shiny they are. This has been cured for not even a full day, like I did that last night. But aren't they amazing? So I plan on using them in my art journaling just to give more texture and depth. I like, see, I laid them side by side when while they were still wet and some of it like ran into the other one and I love the effect, I really do. I think there's just some cool stuff that you can do with that. I'll also insert the footage um, of Stephanie last night. She was here last night painting a new painting and also I'm going to link up to her Valentine's Day present painting that she did for her friends. It's now up and running and she's talking about a new painting that she started for Xander. She just laid down the background. It's a it's Gotham City with Batman because uh, Xander is big on Marvel comics and she's just basically laid down the foundation of this painting and already I would put this up on my wall. I mean she's just so totally amazing. I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. I'm trying to figure out how to go about it. I oh my. Just so this is going to be what? Gotham City? Yep. It's going to be that. Holy moly. And this is a show in your vlog. Hi. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Nice to <laughs> so this is what you're painting. Jeez. Holy moly. And there's gonna be a, so what uh, was Zander Batman saying about here? Huh? There's gonna be a Batman silhouette like here. Sorry, we're in Stufi's room right now in her studio in our house. Like that. So this is a skeleton. So what's your so basically it's the background color? Like do you layer the final background color first and oh, then build is, on it? Honestly, like I started it and it didn't come out well, so I just kind of covered it all to make it sort of like the colors it's going to be. I like it like that. And then I'm going to work on it. <laughs> I actually like this. I like it. Yeah, but this can't go over my couch. Nice. This is not worth $300. <laughs> it will be. This is not worth rent. Oh, that's true. So Steph, tell, tell us the story behind that. Uh, is there really a story? Not yeah. Yet. Why Why did you say this is not rent money? Or... Uh, because my, my boyfriend, <laughs> who I live with, commissioned me to do this because we need something above our couch because it's empty. Which is embarrassing. Do you know how many people have told me, you know what's missing in your house for an artist? Paintings. <laughs> There's nothing on your wall. <laughs> They're sitting in a corner next to the bed, so oh. we're too lazy to put them up. But uh, yeah, we need something over the couch. and. I felt weird about getting my boyfriend to pay me in cash for a painting, so we did a trade-off. He paid the rent for a month, and I'll make this. In fact, a cool story. It's funny, you're talking to me and all... Oh, I'm having a deja vu. Aphasia do? <laughs> all I see in the background is the support for your, your TV. <laughs> so I came up with plans as to what I, how I want to organize it if we ever have the time to like kind of go to Walmart or something. Oh, if, if ever. Because I want to make this a thing. It, that's fine, that's fine. And it's I don't okay. have a car. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. I want, I want a paper towel rack because I yeah. desperately need one. And then I would want like um, 
Like a wooden box? Not quite like a gutter, but you know what I mean? Like a a long wooden box. Like a planter's box, kind of. Fill it with rice. Like or those beads that I bought from my makeup brushes. Yeah, but this is easier because it's thinner. Okay. So just do that. Use my paint brushes up, and then I gotta do something for my paints, like have a storage unit or something. That could be cool. Okay, so. Or even a Velcro thing on the wall. Right? <laughs> so you're looking at a mattress, a painting. So this is gonna be your new studio. And I can see my lovely mom. I'm gonna show you what I make for the for the tutorial. It's a it's called a one take Friday, so it's it's basically me doing something and it's sped up. Like it's just like a, a one take thing. So here's the book that I did. Don't mind the mess. Um, I made a little mini album for the one take Friday for the store, and I use these fun new dies by Paper Smooches. They're I guess they're tag dies. But they cut out the holes too on the sides, which is fun. This one is the bracket style, and this one is the um, scallop style. There's another one here. It just has the round edges, but I just took these two, and the holes fit perfectly with the uh, the coils from the bind it all or for the bind it all, and the other one, which is the um, the cinch. So these fit perfectly. I'm so happy. And basically, the book is comprised of three different colors cardstock. And these two pattern papers are from the Amy Tangerine collection by American Crafts. This is the back side. I didn't want to use that back side, so what I did is for this one, I just um, I glued two back to back so that I wouldn't have this showing because the cardstock that I was using um, did not fit that uh, peachy color. So it's uh, three colors of cardstock. I have like a slate gray, a yellow, and um, kind of like a light turquoise or, or a medium turquoise, I would say. And it fits perfectly that pattern paper because it is American Crafts cardstock. So I was able to match it perfectly. Um, oops, something's going on here. So for the cover, the other thing I used also is this fabulous stamp set. It's a French stamp set. It's by Kizzy Art, uh, which is a French uh, company from France. And they have a whole bunch of different scrapbooking uh, supplies and they have fabulous stamps. They also have these types of stamps, like the date stamps, with different words on them. So I used this, which says Au Quotidien, which means daily. So it's kind of like a daily book. I turned it into a weekly or a one-week mini album. I'll give you a close-up the other way. Um, so here I just um, I embossed it in white on the slate gray cardstock. And then I just added a piece of washi tape underneath this washi tape here, just to give it you know, another accent, I guess. I kept it very simple because this is meant to be uh, put in like in someone's purse. I thought it'd be ideal for um, spring break trips. You take photos of the whole week and then you can journal about them. So each day is divided into uh, with the, the uh, gray cardstock and what I did is I white embossed all the days of the week starting by Sunday. So in every um, for every day you've got the name of the day and then you have the uh, journaling spot. You can put a photo there, you can put a photo there, you can put a photo there. There's lots of room for you to put a photo. And what I used for, <clears throat> for the lines is this stamp set by Paper Smooches. I can't find the stamp. <laughs> oh, there it is. So it's just lines basically, but the lines were too big. So what I did is I ended up uh, camouflaging each side with more of the washi tape and then I just stamped over it and repeated the process throughout the whole book. So we got Monday, which is lundi, and then mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, Samedi. I like this paper too. Coincidentally, this is so funny, but the back side of this paper is all the days of the week in English. I thought that was perfect. <laughs> so, very simple. 
Um, and I just bound it with my bind it all machine and that was it and I called it a day. This is perfect to slip in a purse. Look how tiny it is. And that's that. So I'll be talking to you I guess on Saturday. Tomorrow I've got a full day. I'm out most of the day. Uh, haircut, then a 50th birthday party, and then my son's playing tomorrow night. He's playing, He's he has a gig uh, downtown. So we're gonna go see him and that should be fun. I don't know, maybe I'll film a little bit. Would you guys like to see that? Eee, that could be fun. I'll see, I'll see. Sometimes the sound is so bad because they play in small venues and this, if the sound's too loud, it's really bad on camera. And if the lighting's horrible, then I can't, I can't see them. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So um, until then, my friends, keep warm if you're up north and um, enjoy the nice weather if you're down south. Lucky you. <laughs> and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them below. And I will see, see you later. <gasps> Deliciousness. Look at this, Sophie. Look how caramelized it is. Deliciousness. Deliciousness. My chicken's ready. My chicken's ready. Chicken. So we're having rice. How much do you want? Some chicken. Just give me small pieces. I would like the small pieces. And we're having a nice salad. Oh, Stephanie's plating me. Here's a salad and we're having tzatziki. Which is a Greek sauce, I guess. It's yogurt, cucumber. Mint. What else is in there? Oh, garlic, yeah. Magic. Magic. <laughs> so we're going to sit down to eat. Show us how it's done, Stoofy. The ziggy. It's very liquidy, that one. I don't know why. Huh? No, it's usually thicker. I dig in. First impressions. <laughs> we have free. <laughs> we have Stufi's seal of approval.